that in Florida I was making 120, 150 grand, and I was on top of the world. I was a king. I mean, I was God there. It, uh, governors would come to me to get elected. Every great professional wrestler came through Florida. Every world's champion. I mean, a lot of times world's champions didn't necessarily want to go to Alabama or want to go to Tennessee or want to go to some place, but everybody wanted to come to Florida. It was phenomenal business to run within an area that small. And whenever I'm talking about small geographically, where your furthest trip was 280 miles, you know, to Miami, that wasn't a bad Delgone deal. So, and you're you're there making great money. You've got the best fishing in the world. You've got everything, you know. Hi, I'm Gordon Sola, your host on Championship Wrestling from Florida, seen each week on this channel. And now we've got a, a Pier Sixer going on. The referee trying to break it up. I'm introducing from Oklahoma, weighing 231 pounds, Jerry Briscoe. I've never seen anything like this before. You want some trouble. I'll show you how I got a reputation like I got for being crazy. I have won the gold. I know what it's like to wear the gold. When there's a debt that needs to be collected, a lot of times you have to go to certain extremes to get that debt collected. Championship wrestling for Florida, in my estimation, was the roadmap of what the wrestling business had evolved to. They were ahead of their time. They had talent that would that could go with anybody. It was good, you know. It was damn good. There was just something so special about Florida Championship Wrestling. I miss those days. I think a lot of guys went there and worked because it was Florida, and they weren't there to be around Eddie Graham. That was part of it too. I get jealous of people that were were raised in Florida because <laughs> they had it. Because you got to see Dusty, you got to see Kevin Sullivan. successful wrestling company of all times. 